Good morning, friends. I'm so excited to see you today and to finish out our story about Nehemiah. His story, straight from the Bible, is all about initiative. Let's review a little bit of what we've learned so far. Nehemiah heard that his people were in trouble. Their walls had fallen down and their gates were being burned. This made him very sad. So he knew he couldn't just wait for someone else to do something. He went to the king and asked him to let him travel to Jerusalem and help his people. Nehemiah knew something needed to be done to solve the problem, and he took initiative to get it done. There was some trouble along the way, though. The officials weren't letting everybody eat. Only people that had a lot of money could eat. That wasn't very fair. Then there were people that didn't like Nehemiah's people and what they were doing, and so they tried to distract them so they couldn't finish building the wall. That wasn't very nice either. Nehemiah and the Jewish people stayed focused throughout all of this. They prayed to God and trusted him to help them finish building the wall. Nehemiah wanted the people to honor God for all that he had done for them, including keeping them safe while they worked hard. Nehemiah gathered all the people together at sunrise and the prophet Ezra came and read God's word to them. They all bowed down and praised God for how amazing he is and how much he had helped them. Then they had food and drinks and threw a big celebration. You see, Nehemiah took initiative to help the people. And as they finished their work, they got to celebrate what God had done for them. As we finish out our series this month and continue to look for ways to take initiative, which is seeing what needs to be done and doing it, I want us to remember our verse two. Work as if you are working for the Lord. Colossians 3.23. Great job, friends. I'll see you next time.